great. So uh, the uh, best-selling textbook, economics textbook in the country is by N. Gregory Mankiw, based on these 10 principles of economics. And uh, here they are. Uh, I'm not going to read them for you. Just uh, take my word for it that you need a PhD in economics to understand these. Uh, fortunately, I have one. And I have, and I have taken it upon myself to translate these principles for the uninitiated. Uh, let's begin by separating them into the first seven principles, which are microeconomics, and the last three, which are macroeconomics. The difference, of course, being that microeconomists are people who are wrong about specific things. <laughs> and macroeconomists are wrong about things in general. Uh, the macroeconomic principles all have the exact same translation, namely blah, blah, blah. As proof, I should only remind you that macroeconomists have successfully predicted nine out of the last five recessions. <laughs> and as further proof, uh, we can now go up one font size. As Einstein said, everything should be as simple as possible, if not simpler. Uh, okay, down to back to microeconomics. The first one, pe pe people face trade-offs. Uh, translation choices are bad. Right, so, uh, this is a simple syllogism. Trade-offs are bad. Every time you have a choice, you have a trade-off. Therefore, choices are bad. If you don't understand that, look at principle two. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. Translation choices are really bad. Uh, let me just give you a simple example of this. Let's say someone offers you a Snickers bar. You value it a dollar. Right? So your economic profit in this case is the Snickers bar minus the cost of what you give up to get it, which is nothing. Your economic profit is a dollar. Now, somebody offers you a choice between a Snickers bar, which you value at a dollar, and some M&Ms, which you value at 70 cents. Now your economic profit is the dollar minus the 70 cents, only 30 cents. You begin to see why choices are bad. The worst possible situation, in fact, would be someone offering you a choice between a Snickers bar and an identical Snickers bar. Now, people who are not trained in economics might think that that's no different from being offered one Snickers bar, but that sort of sloppy thinking will never get you a tenure-track position. <laughs> Great, let's simplify this. So choices are bad, really bad. If you don't understand why choices are bad, you're probably stupid. <laughs> Next principle, rational people think at the margin. Translation, people are stupid. <laughs> Now, it is immediately obvious to the most casual observer with the meanest intelligence that people do not think at the margin. Nobody goes to a grocery store and says, I'm going to buy an orange. I'm going to buy another orange. I'm going to buy another orange. <laughs> but if people don't think at the margin, and if, as Mankiw says, rational people do think at the margin, we are led to a most unhappy conclusion. People are not rational. People, in other words, are stupid. But don't fear for the fate of humanity yet. Take a look at the next principle. People respond to incentives. Now, the dictionary says that incentive is a noun. That means something that influences to action, synonym motive. So what Matthew is saying here is that people are motivated by motives, or that they are, in, or that they are influenced to action by things that influence them to action. Now, you may, think, you may think this is a bit like saying that tautologies are tautological, right? I mean, people would have to be pretty stupid to be unmotivated by motives or to, or to be influenced to inaction by things that influence them to action, right? But remember principle three, people are stupid. Hence the need for principle four to convince us that people aren't that stupid. Great, so simplifying again, let's move on to free trade, our favorite topic. Principle five, trade can make everyone better off. Translation, trade can make everyone worse off. I have a proof that will blow your mind of this fact. Here we go. Compare the following two statements. One is trade can make everyone better off. The other is trade will make everyone better off. If you had to choose between those, it's no contest, right? Claim number two is better. But Mankiw uses claim number one. And there's only one explanation. Claim number two has to be wrong. In other words, trade can make some people worse off. And it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. From there to trade can make everyone worse off. Some people apparently didn't like this deconstructive proof or destructive proof. They wanted a constructive proof, so I added this footnote. There are the details. 
Now notice the final two here, governments are stupid, governments aren't that stupid, follow immediately from principle five in its translation. If trade can make everyone better off, what the heck do we need government for? But if trade can make everyone worse off, we better have a government around to stop people from trading. Here are the principles of economics translated, and there's my website, standupeconomist.com. Thank you for your time.